Okay, so I just finished my shower and I'm currently m uh, mixing my toner together. And I think the reason why my results for my hair came out so uneven last time was that I didn't comb my hair before I put on the toner. I didn't comb my hair. I don't know why I was like scared to do that or maybe I just forgot, but I think that's definitely why like I have streaks of yellow and and patchiness all over. So this time I remember to comb my hair before I do this. So yeah, to make sure I get nice even results this time. I know that sounds so simple, but you know when you're doing this and you're dealing with chemicals, you're just like, oh, I just gotta make sure I have everything like on my head or something, but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna apply it now. I mixed half the bottle of the T18 with the T11. Hopefully that will give me the results that I want this time. This stuff really smells though. This smells more than the bleach that I was using before. I hope I'm applying the toner better than I did before. I think so, because I just watched a bunch more tutorials on how some girls are doing it, and they seem to be applying it this way, so hopefully, like I said, that will help me get more even results. Ah, I'm obviously not a pro at <laughs> dividing my hair up. Thanks. So yeah, I just finished applying the toner all over my head. As you can see, it's turning purple. And hopefully I applied it more evenly this time. I really hope so because I don't want to do anything more with my hair after this. I really, I'm just tired actually after this whole process. I mean, it's been fun and it's been a learning experience, but I just, I just want my hair to be done at this point. Um, so. Yeah, so I'm going to wait. I put a timer for 30 minutes. I'm going to do the full 30 minutes because I really have a lot of yellow and brassiness in my hair. Um, as you could tell from the last vlog. So I just did some plastic wrap. I know it looks weird because, I mean, it didn't cover the ends right here, so I just stuck some on the side. And this stuff really smells. It smelled bad and it stinged my eyes. And after this, when I wash my hair, I'm just going to rinse all the toner out but I'm not going to shampoo because like it didn't occur to me that but maybe the toners before didn't work because right after I shampooed my hair and I watched a video where a girl she said don't shampoo after the toner and actually that makes a lot of sense to me because the toner is the color right so if I shampoo then that means it would wash the toner right off probably not but I mean if you want the color to last a few more washes just don't wash it right after it's just been applied anyway so I'll try that we'll see but I really hope that <laughs> this fixes all the yellow and crazy color that I had in my hair especially the ends you saw how uneven and patchy there was a bunch of yellow on this so yeah I'll report back when I'm done see ya hey so it's the Next day, I toned my hair yesterday with the T11 and T18, half and half it, all the yellow is finally gone. So this is the result.
a nice ashy platinum without it being so white. You can see there's a little bit of warmth in there and um, maybe even in real life it's I would describe it as kind of caramelly. A teeny bit sandy but just not all the way silvery and gray because I didn't want that and I'm not sure if it would suit me anyway. I think it would be fine. I don't know. I was just really scared to kind of just to see any gray so I'm happy with this and sorry my friend's dog. The results are even because I combed my hair before toning and I don't know why I didn't do that the first time because it probably would have came out okay the first time if I had combed my hair. I did this all myself and I didn't have any crazy colors in between. Like I said I went from black to blonde in a day and then from like a yellow blonde to this in about four days only because I had to wait for the rest of the supplies to come in the mail but I didn't have to walk around with any orange or any like really bad looking color and I was just happy that I was able to achieve this all by myself so also and everyone's been saying that it looks great so I'm so happy with that and I just always wanted to be blonde my whole life so I just can't believe I did it. Like, and now I know what to do better the next time. First of all, make sure I comb my hair before I do each process so I can apply it evenly. And then comb it before I tone it so that I won't have any patchiness. I need to perfect my kind of root applying technique because uh, the second time it was really uneven as well. And also to focus on the ends because the toning, the toner didn't get completely all of the the yellow out of my ends but most of it but actually the this bottom part right here used to be orange so the toner definitely worked on here but you can tell that it's still um, a little bit darker than the rest of my head but it's fine I'm actually gonna uh, probably get a trim I have like maybe one split end but and that's it and my hair it feels soft and very healthy I didn't use any deep conditioning treatments actually just because I didn't have any. I, I just washed my hair after the toning, put the conditioner, the purple conditioner with it, and it's fine, and I am not gonna wash my hair probably for three to four days at the most now when I have this hair, because that's what I was looking forward to anyway, just not having to wash my hair all the time, and now that it's, it's soft and it's dry, it's still really healthy though, but it is dry, but it doesn't feel crunchy or anything, so. If you have any questions or comments, put it down below like and subscribe, ask me anything um, if I miss something. I'd really love to help you and uh, I'm just so happy that there were a bunch of Asian black to blonde tutorials so that I can kind of mimic that and follow and figure out what works for me and that's what this video is for you. So if you have any questions about this process, please ask and I'll try to tell you everything in depth. I hope this covers it and I hope you like it. I, <laughs> I really love it and I, I just i am so happy with it. I can't believe I did it. I really can't. Anyway, yeah, I'll do another spin around. And have a good day. Bye.